this is Sonia with RC Solutions and welcome to the February According to Me uh, Makers Creative Collab and participants of this collaboration were instructed to create something uh, and we were given a list of things to choose from and we had to choose at least one item from three of the following categories and they range from paper, textiles, all that shines, media, organic, techniques, and texture. So the ones that I chose for this project, I used paper and the type of papers I used was rice paper and coffee filter, textiles, cheesecloth, media, ink sprays, and I also used some paint, techniques, stencil, and decal. So uh, to start off, the way I, what I created was like a folder. It's like an accordion style folder or envelope, I guess you could call it. And it holds several different things inside of it. And um, I just garnished it with this little rose and it has like a, a tie, tie up closure. And it's double sided. But the way that I created it was I used some coffee paper. This is coffee dot uh, paper that I made. And I made this back in January. It was part of the January Fave 2022 blog challenge. And I'll have a, a card up in the corner for you if you want to check out how I did that. I made this and a lot of the papers that are used in this project. But what I did with the coffee paper um, was I just scored at a half inch in order to create these gussets. And, you know, when you're using coffee paper after it's dried, um, it can kind of get a little bit brittle. So to fix that and make it a little more sturdy, I added some just regular scotch tape on both sides, in and out, to make it strong, you know, on the sides. And then also, I added some vellum. I stitched on some vellum on the inner linings of this on both sides just to make sure that it's secure and I did that at the top and then at the bottom I added some washi tape stitched on to this uh, closure that I created now I made this closure out of uh, I think I used it was a piece of a Macy's um, packaging and then I took a coffee filter and just added it on top and I just used some Mod Podge and uh, decoupage the coffee filter pieces on top, let it completely dry. Then I went in and then I added some black and brown paints and just kind of, you know, put them on there. Let some of the colors just kind of fall down in there and created some textures and stuff with it. And that's how I got the, that's how I got this like textured look and then I stitched around the edges and so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to show you the inside of this the cover um, then I did some collaging basically I just took some uh, I think it was was a dictionary page or book pages I think it was just book pages and collaged them on here let them dry uh, then I added some blue ink some distress ink and just to kind of give it some color, you know. So that's what that looks like. And then I bound this, I added some cheesecloth up underneath to make it a little bit sturdy. And uh, I had punched, I think I punched a hole. Yeah, I added an eyelet in here and then I added the string and then I covered it up with this but this uh, this pretty pink bow and then I just added some more flowers on top I kind of built it up these were single individuals and I just kind of built them up and glued them on there so this opens up and then I added up a uh, closure here or something to cover up the closure from where I had the string and I just added a what do you call it? A rub on transfer right here just to kind of give it some decoration. And on the inside I've got some um, papers or paper 
to cover up some of the stitching and that's part of that dyed uh, coffee dyed and ink and distressed paper that I created when I made the coffee papers when I dyed the coffee papers so this has on this front side you have a double sided pocket you have a pocket here and then you have a pocket here and then I just put some tags in here these tags are just pieces from one of my kits my Etsy digital kits earth tone and um, this beautiful image here is rice paper that I got from Stamperia it's uh, I actually got it um, it was from happy paper people uh, it was an after Christmas sale, a blowout sale they had, and I, I got a bunch of stuff from there. Um, so, yeah, this is Stamperia, and um, let's see, this, this is like a tuck spot here, and then you have your pockets here, here, and here, and then there's a tuck spot if you want to put something there. And then I just made this closure, it's just some cardstock. And I added a piece of vellum and stitched it on. Added an eyelet to secure the string. And I just added some bling. It's just a little old rose, black rose embellishment. And then I just added this paper on here or the label on here. This came from Fun Photo. I think it's Photo Fun. It's a freebie on my Facebook page, on my Multimedia Crafts Digital Facebook page. And then I just added some green eyelets. So when you turn it over to the back, um, I just added some little bling here. And uh, you have a tuck spot here, which I haven't really used it for a tuck spot, but you can. And then also, there's a, um, hold on. There's a tuck spot here. You've got some vellum. And then you've got some more of the rice paper. And I like the rice paper because, well, I like the vellum because you could still see the image of the, vel the rice paper behind it. And then this white background, it's just white paper. And I did use some stenciling, actually, I did. And I, to get this, um, these little designs here. And I did that on the front as well. I did a little bit of stenciling. And that's how I got those designs. And um, so here's just a little tag that I made. It's like a double sided tag. And this has a pocket, 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 pocket. And it's double sided. And then this also uh, has a pocket here. And then a pocket right here. If I can open it up. Pocket right here. It goes all the way down. I may just leave this in here like that. So I'm just going to tuck this back in here. I think I'll just tuck one of these tags down in there. And then tuck this tag down in there. And then, so here's my accordion like journal really simple really easy and this was made with the papers that I had dyed uh, I use I inked up using watercolors distress oxide ink uh, alcohol ink from bakers and crafters I just use a combination of different inks and stuff like that so and then I've got this little cute clip that I added on there to keep it closed and then some of these have some Tim Holtz uh, the, I forgot it's the wallpaper and then these little this vellum printout that was this photos and it's got this little picture reel or film strip that also comes from the fun photo freebie kit that's on my Facebook page so it opens up like this and then I just have some leftover papers from where I had stamped and then here's some more that's Tim Holtz paper and then here's another one of the, the pieces that came from the freebie kit. And then you have a lot of journaling space here. And then it flips down like so. And you got a lot of journaling space. Some more Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. 
And it flips back up like that, and then we're going to proceed on to open it. And then you've got you a tuck spot right here, or a, pocket, a side pocket. And then this is some more Tim Holtz. Um, and this opens up like so. And um, I've used, like I said, I've got a lot of the watercolors and a lot of the coffee dab papers. And I just stitched on some stuff. Um, documented that comes from that freebie fun photo. It's either photo fun or fun photo. I don't even know. And I made it. I can't even think of the name of it. Then we have some rub on transfers. Uh, here's the top loading pocket. And then have a pocket here, pocket here. This flips over. Let me set this down. And you have a pocket here. This flips out. And you have a pocket here. You have a pocket here. There's two different pockets, so let me slide that back up. And you have some more. You have a tuck spot right here. You have a pocket here. And this is just made with um, some sequin uh, fabric that I stitched on. And this is Graphic 45 from Gilded Lily. And then uh, when I cut the corners off, I kept them and then just put them on this side. And this is just that Coffee Dad paper that I had smeared some white gesso on. And then just stitched around the edges. We'll put that back down in there, and then we just have some more decorations going on. And then I'm just going to, it's going to flip from this half on over to here. And then there's like a little tuck spot here. This opens up. You have a tuck spot here. This is going to flip down similar to how the other one does. And then you're going to proceed. Um, yeah, there's a tuck spot there too. So, opens, flips down, you have a tuck spot. Okay, and then this opens, tuck spot. And then you have a top loading pocket. Another top loading pocket. And then, that's when we come back. To the front so it's <laughs> it's kind of confusing a little bit but there's a lot of journaling space in it and then you get this cute little uh, paper clip that comes with it if I can figure out how to use it yeah because it's supposed to be shaped like a little camera so there's that and then I already made a video on this right here, and I'll just kind of briefly show you. Um, I got the idea from uh, Judy from Rose Lane Vintage Designs, and um, she's the one who I, I made this after mimicking her idea. I got a piece of string right there. So basically, this comes out, this opens up, and you have journaling space right here. And uh, this right here, the, the photo images, these are for, from uh, Memories. It's a digital kit on Etsy from Tanya Samuels or Let's Design Creative. That's where I got that from. There's a little pocket on the side. And then here's a card, journaling card. And then this flips over and you got this, pretty much the same thing. This, comes out this opens up and you've got your journaling card on the side so that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this hop um, please stay tuned for the next artist um, and if you like this video if, uh, please click like subscribe uh, check out my other videos my blog and my social media sites and the rest of the group who are collaborators. And thanks for watching.